we are in the Kengiri campus of Christ University, which is a nature's adobe. It's between a coconut mangrove kind of a environment. So you can see in and around here. And we are right now in block one. So it is very big, yeah, this it's campus. It's pretty big. It's a very big campus. It's one of the largest campuses that Christ can have. And it's really, really good for education. So coconut and mangroves. Yeah, it's coconut and mangroves. They have not destroyed the ecosystem. In between of that, they have constructed different blocks, which is dedicated for engineering and management. They are harvesting those, uh, harvesting yeah, those harvest coconuts, everything. yeah? So they have like coconuts. Yeah. So nice. It's Beautiful. Pretty. Beautiful. And you can breeze so yeah. freely in Bangalore, yeah? This is all the ex uh, outskirts of Bangalore, so you get the most fresh air. Oh, and it's devoid from the traffic. Uh -huh. It's just like you're in like a big adobe of nature. No, I would be happy if I stayed here and just <laughs> worked <laughs> here. No, the university is actually it's very beautiful. Yeah, the university is very beautiful, and all the universities of Christ have a similar style of construction. Mm -hmm. That's good, huh? So yeah, this is a panel room. Panel room. Mm -hmm. Thirty members can be seated here. No, it's nice. It's nice. Dedicated mm -hmm. to student service. Ah, so you have a special student service. So they are cooking here, yeah? They cook here for the students. Aha! Uh -huh. Open auditorium. So I think the engineering fest Magnavite is conducted here. Yeah. Now it's no more engineering fest. How many people it can accommodate in each? It can have seating crowd of about 2,500. 2,500. crowd and standing it can go up to four. So you just put chairs yeah. here, yeah? Okay. Open air, that's good. Yeah, help it absorb in. Ah! So it doesn't reflect and there is very less echo. Oh, so the acoustic system is yeah. here. Yeah. Because we were we are suffering. Whenever they do something in that open auditorium, mm. it is terrible. It's I hate course, it. Right? It's because I say that this is the worst idea to hold something there. It's like people. Uh, it also has to have a big responsibility by our government. Uh, that we have to start a new it's Maybe it's an RF and micro research lab. Uh -huh. uh, majorly focused, uh, you know, in research, but we do have undergrad students who come and do their internships and projects. Right? Uh -huh. So it provides, it's not a regular lab that they use. Mm -hmm. It's a lab which they show interest and they use. right? So they do their projects, internships, trainings using this lab, along with master and PhD students who work on their research projects, of course, thesis. Right? Currently the lab is uh, supporting four PhD scholars mm -hmm. working in the different domains of antennas, microwave. And PhD scholars in terms of computer science is expensive, yeah, to prepare them. Yes. Uh, so the scholars are linked with our electronics department mm -hmm. and their expertise is in antennas. So they, mm -hmm. they want to pursue mm -hmm. the topics in antennas, microwaves and all mm -hmm. And you're also from computer science, right? No, no I'm no? from electronics and communication. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So our work is mostly into hardware, components, uh -huh. design, development and testing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the lab supports designing the components, simulating them, and then finally testing them so out. So they test them and yeah. bring them from there. Yeah. If, if it, is, it is a part of a product, uh -huh. we can test them out and we can integrate in a product. My, my younger son joined uh, cyber security. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, but now he is busy. He is designing computer games. And okay. his, uh, his team, his head of the team, uh, got the first prize this that's, year. That's good. Gaming is also a very, very, very big thing now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Developing games and cyber security, of course, is a very interesting topic. So, uh, we do support three verticals through the lab. Uh -huh. We support undergrad students to get exposed to the subject, to uh -huh. develop interest. We support PhD scholars for their research. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, we support industry to mm -hmm. come and test their products. Mm -hmm. So we provide consultancy as well. Are this in Christ is a private universe? We have scholarship for our Indian students. Uh -huh. But uh, students who come from foreign university, usually they are from a partner university. Uh -huh. Right? So in our MOU, we already have mentioned what all benefits they would So it is exchange program, program, basically. Program, yeah. uh -huh. Otherwise, we have not seen, uh, you know, for international students, 
Um, I need to get back. What is the exact? Because we have a very good computing science at uh, the Eurasia National University, and we signed the MOU with Christ University four years back. Uh, Father Jose was there. We signed, and uh, so like if if the exchange program is uh, possible, then this is also very important yes. for us. Can we want We have now. You know, we have about. Uh, Fifteen plus students come from Boston College. Uh -huh. the next year we have thirty students come from, uh, coming from France I7, right? Uh -huh. and this are for the full fledged course, yeah, uh -huh. semester course. Uh -huh. and, uh, so this is double diploma. Uh, this is just a semester uh -huh. Okay. Then we also had like one or two students come, coming from Germany. Recently we had students coming from I7 France. Uh, she stayed here for one year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. For the two semesters. Mm -hmm. So we do have students coming in. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have another uh, set of five students coming from uh, Catholic University of America. Uh, right. They are coming here for the immersion program, mm -hmm. cultural mm -hmm. and both technical immersion. Mm -hmm. So we can move inside. For that, I'll request to remove our footwear. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so everything is, should be sterile here, yeah? Yes. Like what about this? Back we leave it, yeah? You can bring it if you want to. Otherwise, you can keep it here. Ah, this is great. <laughs> so this is a very unique facility which not every university can have. Even within India or outside India, you will see very less institutes having such a facility. This is what we call an aquatic chamber, a chamber without an echo. And we use it for microwave research, but people working in sound engineering, they also use it. They need it. Yeah, they all do for noise, you know, uh, studies and all. We do it for. Uh, microwave studies, uh, mm -hmm. radio frequency emission studies. Because my 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 big son now he's he's completing regional studies, okay. but when he was in school he was saying that he's dreaming of something like he explained me that it's something <laughs> like this. So these are what we call absorbers. Uh huh. Their work is to absorb microwaves. Uh huh. Which comes from a source. That's a source basically. It's an antenna. Uh huh. A microwave will get generated from there, and we will place our device to be tested over here. Ah. So it can be a full product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like we, we last year we got a company which is a satellite uh, startup, mm -hmm. and they made uh, their satellite payload. So they brought the payload over here, and they tested it out how it performs. Amazing. And there was another company which made a Wi-Fi router. Uh -huh. So they brought the full router box, uh -huh. antennas inside. They placed it over here, and they checked the performance of the antennas. So the whole idea is to check the performance of devices that they make, mm. and of course for the researchers. Whatever they do in their thesis, uh -huh. they have to validate manufacturing that device, right? And okay. can you make this thing from just any material or not? No, it is a special one. Yeah, base material is a spongy material, which uh -huh. is a common material. But this blue and black paints are carbonized paints. They are carbon-based <gasps> paints. So their feature is to absorb the microwaves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And once we close the door, nothing from outside in terms of signals can come in. Maybe you see your phone also; there will not be any signal. Uh, my phone is doesn't anyway, have any yeah, signal, will, so will not have a SIM. But because. nothing from outside, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G, 5G, nothing comes in. Can we close the door just to see yeah, that? Yeah, we can. I think because we can open from inside as well. Mm -hmm. So just like just, I'll just close the door for us. So sound, sound also effect. Because I I never like yeah. happened to this. Yeah, we don't hear anything. Whatever small sound you are hearing, it's the motor over there. Uh huh. So if I close that also, you will see very, very less sound inside. Plus, as I told you, nothing from outside in terms of signal comes in. So it means mm -hmm. whatever we are testing, mm -hmm. for whatever range, we will be able to test it ideally. Mm -hmm. It means we are not interfer interfered by anything outside. But okay, like uh, question, like this is a question that uh, specialists in IR post. Right. Supposedly. Uh, like we met with some kind of intelligent persons, okay, and we left a phone, and he put something on my phone, right? And then I came here. Can this phone record something? Not through an external control. Uh huh. You are recording through your camera app now. Uh huh. Because you are there physically. Yes. But nothing gets connected outside, so no one can control. Internet will not uh -huh. be there. Signals will not be there. Mm -hmm. So no one can access the phone. Outside, so mm. this this room becomes an isolation room. 
Interesting. So it's Interesting. yeah, very unique facility. Uh, there is one uh, one such chamber in one of the companies in America. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think Microsoft or some other company. Mm-hmm. They have made a bigger room and they call it world's quietest room because they work in sound engineering also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So in the room they have some challenge for their engineers. They said if you can spend one hour in the room alone, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we will give you a reward, some dollars, thousands of dollars. But no one can you know do that. Why? Within ten minutes. Uh, the room will be dark. They will close the door. Room will be dark. Uh-huh. There will be bigger absorbers like this. Uh-huh. And within couple of minutes, you will start hearing your heartbeat. And within five minutes, you will start hearing your blood flow through the vessels. Even that sound, the flow sound. Did you did you hear it? In the videos they showed, yes. But here was in this room. In this room, no, because this is designed for microwaves. Mm. That room is designed for sound engineering, very very low level oh. of sound. So that is the difference. <laughs> You know, you opened a whole new world for me and for yeah, my students. It's, it's very, very interesting. So anyone working on uh, gadgets, devices, products, which needs Wi-Fi connection, wireless connection, uh-huh. you choose anything in the world, everything is connected wirelessly. Smart watch, yes, smart yes, phone, yes, everything. smart fridge, uh, smart machine, everything in the world, right? Smart speakers. So all of them requires what? Antennas. And for testing them out, such facilities required anywhere in the world. All the big names has it, Samsung, Huawei, or Microsoft, Intel, mm-hmm, everyone mm-hmm. has this facility, mm-hmm, smaller mm-hmm. or bigger, mm-hmm. it depends. Uh, there are labs in India as well, in Bangalore, mm-hmm. which has much bigger facility like this. And they, <coughs> they can test, the whole vehicle can go inside, the whole truck, and they can test the full vehicle. Oh. Uh, whole car, truck, everything. So, yeah, this is oh, very interesting. I'm, I'm amazed. Thank <laughs> you so much, Vinay. No problem. So if you want, uh, we can take a picture of you inside if you want. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can take. Very healthy drinks as well. I don't know. Did I record before or not? I don't know. I don't know. It's the biggest canyon here which was around 500 plus students. 500 plus students. Yeah. I came here during... I did my fifth time coming to Kenya. And you know the smell here is pleasant. Very pleasant. Very tasty food. That means that it is very clean. Yeah. Samosas. Mm-hmm. These are uh, piyas. This is basically onion. Uh-huh. Fritters, which are, these are basically fritters. Cold. These are namkeens. These are biscuits actually. Biscuits. biscuits. Uh-huh. And these are potato chips, but these uh-huh. are added in masala as well. Uh-huh. And this is spring roll. Spring roll uh-huh. is basically like kind of like a chapati kind, yeah. and then they would uh, toss it with you know. And uh, put some put vegetables. In, yeah, put in some vegetables and, and fry it. And soak in besan with water. Yeah. Yeah, besan. This is not exactly besan. This is bread crumbs. Mm. Bread crumbs. And then uh, with a little egg coating, and then they will fry it. Ah, so this one is with eggs yeah. because they're, they're in the north, it's like chicken, is, chicken spring roll. So uh, if they do not have with egg, uh, then it will be with whole. Because in north, Brahmins do not like use uh, only uh, eggs, so that they just soak in basin, yeah, Absolutely. with water. Absolutely, North Indians will use basin. Mm-hmm. So we are moving to other side of fourth block, uh-huh. which is basically a guest house. You can accommodate about uh, 100 plus guests. Oh. Uh, and arguably, it's, it's a kind of three strong facility that we have. And everything in Christ is so, like, on like on, on its place, so ordered. Yeah, huh? there are rooms up. I have stayed in many of these rooms up. Yeah? So, I'm the main being here, yeah, that side. Uh huh. So, when that fills, it spills over to the other parts. Oh, so and interesting. The, the main two are now for use for the water treatment. Uh huh, uh huh. And uh, also rainwater harvest. So, so, your mango trees, your coconut trees, you. All are, uh, you know, uh, conserved uh-huh. using this one. Uh-huh. Is there any, like, uh, fishes in the pond? Oh, yeah. Uh, this pond especially is used for this and the other one. Uh huh. They cultivate uh, this fish called as. Uh, Swans? Tilapia. Is there any swans? That's in the main campus. Well, we have some here. Oh, you yeah. Can see yeah. Here, this type, uh, right. Ah. You can see like a shoal of fish. Yeah. Yeah. Black ones, the shoal of fish. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are actually many. If you can like. Many. Very. Yeah. So Long much. Uh huh. These are those tilapia fish. Really? Uh-huh. It's a. Uh, it is used for uh, consumption. Tilapia doesn't need clean water. Yeah. <laughs> Algae is their main food. So, like if I will have a chance to it's eat any fish, I will not eat tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, regularly 
it's often commonly consumed food. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's because not it's like cheap. A dirty, it's yeah. cheap. And it's easy, low maintenance. Yeah, you, you know, here. you know where where the most famous tilapia are in Mekong in Vietnam, <laughs> because it is cheapest. So they export worldwide. Okay. So I'm having coconut juice in Christ campus. So delicious, so delicious. Oh, Lakshmi, see how fresh this one, huh? Like, look at the skin. Very fresh. So you can determine how fresh it is through the fizz. You know, the, the water would have a little fizz when it's fresh. Ah, it's, it's so just great. Open, and this is the best place that you can have. I think this is the freshest oh, coconut. Oh. You know, this comes from. Our own form. Yeah, it can be seen how like fresh it this was. Saint Mary's form. Ah. Oh. So, you know, CMA fathers are running Saint Mary's form. Uh -huh. They have about uh, 350 plus cattle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Know, and of course. And who is working in that farms? Fathers themselves or the workers? Yeah, fathers headed by father, but of course there are laborers, workers. Ah. <laughs> You know, Vinay, for the last three days, I wanted this coconut juice with Malay because when I tried it first day, it was so delicious. <laughs> In fact, they make um, tender coconut milkshake as well. Uh -huh. It got added to that. This is the best I see. Like, drink juice, eat Malay. Because in Delhi, I was ordering coconut every okay, day. Okay. They were bringing this uh, big basket or something. They are. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Blink it, blink it. Blink it, okay, okay. So, but it was not as fresh now. Nowhere like here. This, this morning they, have, they brought. Yeah, yeah. And just come here. Because this, this <laughs> taste is like heaven. Bring it fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like heavenly taste, yeah? <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. Reading room. We have an exclusive reading room there. Yeah, we can have a light discussions. We are all academics. Um, text. Ah, this, this. Engineering and architecture. Mm -hmm. So this is mechanical department labs. The mechanical department offers three courses. Uh -huh. B.Tech in mechanical engineering, uh -huh. uh, B.Tech in automobile engineering, uh -huh. then uh, B.Tech in uh, robotics and mechatronics. Mm -hmm. So you actually get uh, you know, hands-on experience on industrial equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do they use this for? These are all made. Uh, mm -hmm. and I don't know what exactly <laughs> the applications. But mostly for the molding of material. And ah, so, molding. Uh, shaping. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't know how to use it. Yeah? Uh, our students don't come here. Yeah, ah. Electronics uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So yours, yours is more gentle. Yeah? Some small things yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> with IC circuits, yeah. you know, excellence in frontier materials. Uh -huh. so they do research on, uh, you know, coating uh -huh. uh, materials, mm. uh, paint for the heat resistance. Ah, so, so they do all, all of this. Research is carried out there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. also have a quite good facility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how are these like Indian paints? Are they good Indian paints for the construction? Yeah, we have a couple of giants. Yeah. This is one of the prototypes. Uh -huh. We're using, you know, waste cardboards. Uh huh. This is chair. <laughs> yeah, but you cannot sit on it. Yeah, you can stand. Really? Oh. <laughs> it is meant for sitting. Yes. So uh -huh. we had, uh, but two months back we had project. Uh -huh. Exhibition here. Uh -huh. Yeah, all these were displayed. So ah. See, this sofa is also made of cardboard. Oh, this is. I thought it's a yeah, sofa. It's not a sofa chair. Yeah. Sit. Oh, it is table. <laughs> Daimler Center. Daimler Center. You know, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So, this, what so the? This is a tear down center. <gasps> 
They have the little Oh. Oh wow. They are giving their truck for us to tear down, do nuts uh -huh. and bolts, uh -huh. again reassemble back. Uh -huh. Our teachers, our students are trained in this. And who and you know, Diamond employee, they come down to train them. Oh -ho. And in fact, they use it for training their employees as well. So every year their employees come down, about 30 of them. Mm -hmm. 30 of our students and faculty join them. And, you know, are part of and they this, do all the testing this, this together. Is two weeks, uh, this is the process of learning. This is how it has to be. Yeah, it's more practical oriented. Yes. So now our teachers are also equipped uh, uh -huh, with uh -huh. this and they roll out certification program. Uh -huh, uh -huh, right? uh -huh. In fact, Daimler Center is so happy with the way activities that we conduct. Uh -huh. They have given us three more trucks. Oh. Two are on the way. One truck they have given. What our student did with the diesel truck, they converted it into e vehicle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now they have taken it back to their office, displaying mm -hmm. it to their employees. <laughs> <laughs> because in this World University ranking, Anurag told me that uh, Christ is on uh, 540. Yes, 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 yes. And this is a big achievement, but now I understand why it is so. The machine was brought down from Germany. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is a very ex expensive sense here, huh? Look at how massive the engine is. Mm -hmm. So massive. Yes, yes, yes. You can see this like. Yes. The director of Daimler Mercedes Benz from Germany uh -huh. had come down. Mm -hmm. And this is how the activity goes on, for assembly, uh -huh. tear down, uh -huh. where their employee, our employee get together, our students and faculty get together. And I was talking about this vehicle, no? we just converted to e And the fathers of this university, do they drive Mercedes or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bigger vehicle. No? <laughs> so that's the truck I was talking about. Uh, and, uh, look at this. Back. This is Bharat Benz. Yeah. It's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest. I think Bharat? Is it, is it by Ashok Leland? This is their so other oh. But this is Bharat Benz. Yeah. So this, this is... Tie up with, uh, you know, India and uh, material strength, mm -hmm. strain, you know, stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have seen this in popular YouTube videos mm -hmm. where they go crush. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the one. We have a smaller version there. Ah, uh, this I've seen. Uh huh. What do you crush? Is this? Anything. You can put anything. It's mainly for the material uh, strength ah. testing, stress. How much so, like this breaks how strong they are, yeah? Yes, yes. And in fact, uh, we have this all in house made material. Uh huh. This all we have made here. And mm -hmm. you can see it's all made with, you know, uh, material made with mask. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. with the you know, COVID masks which are all thrown away, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that material also has got in there. Ah, so recycled the material. Yeah, they try to recycle. So they come in different colors. You can see some swans there. Can you see swans? No, I cannot. Stop. These are teak trees. Uh, mostly wow. we have teak and eucali. Mm. And of course, we have a full-fledged coconut farm and mango. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. should take you there. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like winter time there, minus 20. <laughs> I don't know, like exactly minus 20, minus 30. What What is exactly the temperature? And here, I'm in a paradise. And no pollution, no pollution. Man, the view from here is legend. It's so nice. <laughs> So this is what I call paradise swans. I saw the same stuff there. Yeah. Mm. We, in Kazakh we call them akku. Akku. Mm -hmm. okay. In uh, Turkish they call them just ku. Yes. <laughs> but I say we say akku because they're white. Okay. This, this was a brainchild of Father Sony. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He also comes from this background of you know herbal study chemistry. Uh -huh. uh, so 
soon, you know, there are many medicinal plants. So here. this is Herbal Research Center. Aranya, Aranya means Aranya, forest yeah. in Karnataka. Uh -huh, Aranya, yeah. Uh, Soon this will be shifted to. We have identified a place there. Uh -huh. All will be shifted and uh, you know studies so that you know we can scale it up. You know, I had a, like um, I thought that in India, despite the fact that there are so many herbs and all these yes. things, as it is hot, you cannot like flourish feel this uh, mm -hmm. how the flowers are smelling mm -hmm. because when it's hot, it's differently. Okay. But we now it's such a good weather, like compost. We make compost. Yeah. Ah, you Everything make it. Is, uh, recycled and priced. Uh huh. Great. Zero waste campus. Yes. Oh, this is. In the left yard, yeah. So we have some fellows grazing, some mm -hmm. sheep mm -hmm. grazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look this side, here, mm -hmm. right? Sheeps. Ah, sheeps. So you use also their compost? Yes. You know, I love the smell of their compost. <laughs> 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 it is a natural smell. Oh, you know, yeah. when we were kids uh, in the village, people, like, I never had the chance to do it, but I wanted. They were making from the cow's thing. Uh -huh. They were making these blocks uh -huh. so that in winter they will use it for okay. uh, warming. Okay, okay. They do that even in India, even, but yeah. they stick it to the wall. Ah, uh, yeah? That to dry it, then they take it out take and it they... Out. I mean... like fire. No, it... Oh. I miss it. That is a coconut growing, huh? You know, I never saw, I never saw in my life. Variety. Uh-huh. Kind of hybrid. So, uh -huh. it's a shorter tree. Uh-huh. So you can... you get, uh, you know, coconut. Wait. Uh-huh. This is how... Why it's such a color? Then it becomes green? No, this is a different variety. Oh. Oh, look at these. It's all flying. Oh, there's one. I think yeah. One can Careful, right? That's yeah, fine. it has its thorns. Uh -huh. Inside. Uh huh. No, no, it's fine. It's, it's too inside. <laughs> you can smell it. <sighs> Very strong with the odor that. Yeah, you know, I'm a smell type of person. I love smelling everything. I smell everything. And this is the most freshest. So when you cut this and you put it in your house, the entire house. <laughs> <laughs> That is all ripened. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. It will have a bitter. bitterness. Mm. Yeah. This is something. Oi, <laughs> look at them. Oh, that's a baby. Oh, that's a baby. Oh, This is koi. This is koshakan. <laughs> the small one is koshakan. In our language, we have like names for like all the babies of all the animals. Mm -hmm. Like animal has its own name, and the baby Very has different. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. <laughs> oh. Just a paradise. But here we, here we cannot feel any pollution. <laughs> Nature at its best. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, you see <sighs> that is it's a NCC firing range. Ah. So here students, there is an army wing uh -huh. uh, which gives out, uh, which trains uh, students, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, and we call it National Cadet Corps (NCC). So you have it at so the university. Have, at, at, here we have for Air Force, uh -huh. University. We have for um, uh, you know Army. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they come down here for shooting practice. Uh -huh. uh, that herbal garden would be shifted this side. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. Mango, yeah. mango, mango trees, without mangoes, and those tall trees. They are eucalyptus. 
You can like so good, huh? And some palms. Which kind? Uh, this is coconut palms. These are all coconuts. Hybrid coconut. This is a different variety of the non hybrid ones. Ah. They are green in color. Uh huh, uh huh. So, what we have now? So, here is a vegetarian canteen. Uh huh. Called the North Canteen. Uh huh. So mostly it is North Indian food. Uh huh. And okay, they do have some variety of South Indian food. Ah. Uh -huh. So, so since we have diverse set of students, uh -huh. so we try to cater to, to all, all of them, the, yeah. all the cuisines. Yeah. We went to the shop last time and it was an incredible view from the last one. Oh, oh. Really yeah. In fact, um, you know, if you go to all all the other campus, uh -huh. you will see the buildings are very much familiar. I mean, uh, buildings like yeah. buildings, but, but this architecture. This is one of the unique buildings that Christ has. Chodi herself, uh -huh. some of our own civil. So it was designed by the architects who are from this university. Yeah, this is HOD, uh -huh. architecture you know, uh -huh. department, and some of our civil engineering faculty. And it's such an air. This is the design, huh? yeah. because fresh air is coming. In fact, you look at the classrooms. These are the classrooms. One side is it's all sliding. You know, this oh. kind of Classes there. This mm -hmm. is the actual entrance for the classroom. Uh -huh. One sided, we have these kind of doors uh -huh. so, so that uh, it can you know, it can give way for natural lighting uh -huh. and as you said, air as well. Yes. So this is like as if they are studying in the future. Yeah, modern, very modern. So on the top we have higher semester classes. Uh -huh. We have classrooms on the uh, one floor and studios on the next floor, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they are all connected. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Now. So, this beautiful studio. So they design with their hands. Yeah? It's not that, that they do it in computer. I know, they have a computer in it, software as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So of course all these are handmade. Yeah. Since you see the Astana building, it's very modern. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. This is the PU block, the university block, uh -huh, uh -huh. where the, we study 11th and 12th grade. Mm -hmm. It's a residential. Residential. Mm -hmm. It's the undergraduate graduate program. That's mm -hmm. where you met Father Sony on the first time. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We went through. That's the open audio. Uh -huh. It is far. It is far. Cream building. Yes. With the cream. Uh huh. Sweet. Ah. <laughs> so it's not far. No. Yeah, that's my house. Mm hmm. This is the hostel building. Mm hmm. Some agricultural lands as well over there. Oh, yes. And our, I was talking about the Saint Mary's form. Uh huh. And my father's is quite there. Oh. Oh. Like they have a school as well. Mm -hmm. Both my daughters go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really inaugurated two months back. Oh. And now the leadership program is here. Mm -hmm. UN. <laughs> UN is safe. Mm -hmm. What takes and this one? Mechanical uh. They build uh, uh -huh. e vehicle, they build ATV, all terrain uh -huh. vehicle, uh -huh. and this is mainly for the competition. Uh -huh. So, you would have heard of Baha no. World, World Competition. Uh -uh, what so is that? They student design vehicle, and it's like a miniature version of F1 race, uh -huh. but at student level. Uh -huh. so we have is Indian it Indian or, or international? It's international. So, we have an Indian version of it uh -huh. uh, by Mahindra. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, student participate. Last uh -huh. year, they won second place. Oh, uh -huh. and they were happy. Yeah. Last year it was, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it was completely e vehicle. Uh -huh. So they made uh, from scratch. They made, of course, initially they had some training. So yeah, 
That's the cool. thing that you see, yeah? Oh, cool. No. Which vehicle? Anyway, we have our guest. Hi. Yeah, so, so this is our M Tech student, a graduate student. Uh huh. Uh huh. So this was a project done by uh, our automobile students from uh -huh. Tesla. So this was a part of the SAE Supra competition. Uh huh. So, so they run this bullet. Is yeah. bullet? It's called how do they are are they called bolit or how do they called this these cars? Uh, this car these are called the F three cars like F three yeah. more like an F three car. So this vehicle was built from scratch. Oh. So they designed it on the CAD software and then they you know done run the simulations and then. So if you sit on it, you can drive it actually. Yes, but now it's under servicing, so now oh. you cannot drive it. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. This was built by students yeah. and oh. uh, under the guidance of. Our can you build like this something? Oh uh, yeah, I have built this. Yeah. So this is one this yours. Is an electric one. Uh huh. So this was built from uh, scrap materials. Like there were many projects that were decommissioned uh -huh. by the college. So we picked uh, like you know the materials that were of some use. For example, the uh -huh. suspensions and the chassis. Uh -huh. So we thought we could build another vehicle from that. Oh. This is purely electric. So this is this. And is, this uh, is big, huh? Yeah, this is like more like a monster quad bike, like you know, electric uh, one. Is it safe to drive it? It is safe to drive it, yes. Because it has four wheels, yeah? It has four wheels, so uh, it's safe to drive this. So till now, nobody has fallen down from the bike, so uh, it's safe. You can... Uh, and this one, it was used where? This one is from uh, like an you know, old Royal Enfield bike. The seat is from there. Uh, you can see the visible damages on top. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And apart from that, the, everything else is reused. The battery pack is from a very old vehicle. So uh -huh. we, we had to remove the battery pack, uh, like no change the battery. Inside, like all this, like what yes. is like lithium? I don't know lithium something. Lithium-ion battery. Yeah. Yeah, lithium-ion battery. So we had to like you know open the battery pack and change everything and put it back together, which was compatible for this one. How old are you? Me, I'm 22. 22, and you can do it. Yeah, I mean, me and my friend, like you know, we just uh, got bored and we did this. So I'm, I came back here for M Tech. He's working, so. Yeah. So, Still, your parents must be very proud of you. Kind of, yes. Yeah. Uh, could do more. Okay. This is also electric. Uh -huh. But uh, something happened because, like, when we were testing it, like, you know, recently, like, when uh -huh. we were testing it, the bottom broke. Like, uh -huh. you know, they got over a hump, not knowing that these things don't have suspensions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, when you go over a hump, they are susceptible to damage. Uh -huh. That happens to, like, you know, the. But no one got the damage, no? Now there's not like there's no visible damage. It's just that uh, like you know the mm -hmm. few wiring issues are there. Oh. That will be fixed in. No, I mean the case. boys who are testing it. Yeah, those guys will fix it. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. This is uh, another both the vehicles which they built. Uh huh. That one was a competition vehicle that won second place in uh, like you know Reef. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Reef is like a range extension electric vehicle competition. Mm. See, the organizers are SAE. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So for this one, you got the second uh, prize, so this yeah? This is the one which you got second place for. Uh -huh. And uh, like, you know, since, uh, yeah. It's so it cool. Not, it does not run anymore because like, you know, yeah. Uh -huh. A few wiring issues were there. Uh -huh. So apart from that, like, you know, everything else uh, was built by the yeah. students, yes. Cool. And the students are of your age, yeah? Students are like, yeah, this this was built by students of my batch. Uh -huh. And the current batch is, will start work next week because they're going to build another vehicle just like this because uh -huh. the competition is coming up in September. Uh -huh. So the design stage is currently going on right now. Like, you know, yeah. For example, uh -huh. the engine might be like, you know, used to... This white one, yeah? Yeah, this one. So the engine might be used to power some other vehicle which the students might build. Ah, yeah, like so that. you use... Uh, but this was very old one, yeah? How old? This, uh, this one, this is the 2018 version, I believe, yeah. 2018? 18, 18, yeah. The bike came in 2018. Ah, so it's not very old one. It's not very old, but then, uh, like, you know, yeah. Uh. Ah. So there are a few components that were taken from this bike. Uh -huh. you, like, you know, uh, for certain projects, like, for example, like, if you're building a bike or something, the handlebar came from this, uh -huh. and the supports came from this. So we just like, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, decommissioned vehicles uh -huh. and we just pick like, you know, certain parts which uh -huh. have not been 
damaged yet mm -hmm. and we use it in other projects mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. more reusable oh cool. thank you so much what's your name my name is jafron jaf jafron jafron yes and where are you from i'm from bangalore Bangalore, sorry, you're Karnataka. Karnataka. Uh, no, okay, I, how do you call it? How, how, Karnataka. Karnataka. Yeah, Karnataka. That's what they call people. Karnataka. You know, Karnataka, yes. Uh -huh. You're from? Uh, I'm from Kazakhstan. And But Tamil, you're, okay. and you're Tamil? or? I'm Tamil, I'm Tamil. You're yes. Tamil. How uh, did you figure it out? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like Features, you can features differentiate okay. Malalai yeah. from Tamil from Karnataka. You can't okay. differentiate okay. actually, yeah. I'm from, the, I'm, I'm a Tamilian, but I was uh -huh. born and brought up in Bangalore. Ah, thank you, thank uh -huh. you, dear. Thank you so uh -huh. It was open to our faculties for some time back. Uh -huh. no way, so did also. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it's under, I think, they're shifting, yeah. Uh -huh. Earlier, Daimler Center was here. Uh -huh. Ah, so it's so all shifting right now. Renta? So this is our e-mobility lab. Uh, yeah, so we uh, mostly work on e-vehicles, e uh -huh. battery repurposing, recycling, uh -huh. and the battery material study uh -huh. is all carried out here. So when bike was done from scratch, we have some of these cycles which are converted to e-cycle. Uh, you know, you just need not pedal, you can uh -huh. also accelerate and do. Everything they do by uh, themselves, yeah. yeah? And you boys, you are master students. Uh -huh. So you work together, yeah? Yeah, it's a project now. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah. also have some facility uh, for you know, checking the vehicle condition with the key and the braking system and all this. So interesting. So in I'm f I feel sorry that my son is not with me. You know, he he's fascinated by this kind of things. <laughs> Classes. Yeah, kids are there. <laughs> so, company labs are here. Yeah, so this is mainly for computer science. Uh -huh. yeah. So, our teachers are certified uh -huh. by the company personnel and they train our students. Uh -huh. We also have an incubation center here. Uh -huh. So, where we incubate uh, you know, students with project ideas. Uh -huh. Once they are independent, they uh -huh. can like a startup, yeah. Startup. Uh -huh. And some of them are convenient into startups. Cool. So what you see some of the four. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pantinum is one such. Uh huh. Again, headed by one of our own faculty. Uh huh. Oh. And a couple of them are moved out. Uh huh. Cool. 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 This one is. It's a conference room. Uh huh. Again, mostly used for uh, high top tier uh, meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me, show me. So this is and this is spicy, huh? Yeah? Dried yeah. fish. And beach root are here. Is here. <laughs> yes. I'm... Sharamati. Mm -hmm.